Halo MCC playlist update, skill based matchmaking added to the MCC, a new big team battle map for Halo 5, game preview for the BTB refresh coming, HCS Dreamhack Dallas news and information, a team that you want to look out for for that event as well, a Halo big team battle grassroots event happening again, so we're gonna get into that, Halo outpost discovery, celebrity appearances, and Halo Infinite pro team members joining the team right over there. A lot of news to get into guys, so let's get right into it. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you another news update when it comes to Halo in general, MCC, Halo 5, and Halo Infinite. If you guys wanna stay up to date with anything going on with Halo, please make sure to tap subscribe with the, uh, the little bell right there because we all know sub feeds can get kind of weird at times. If you enjoy these kind of news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel. And leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on this video as well. We have a lot to go through guys, so let's jump right on into it. As some of you have probably been wanting, there is no free-for-all right now in the MCC. Well, actually, not just kidding. We actually just got a free-for-all put in to the MCC known as Rumble Pit for all of the Halo game. Well, Rumble Pit is not going to be a ranked game mode, strictly social, but it's going to feature 56 maps in there. And so it's going to be quite the uh, expansive experience, but I'm sure we're all gonna, just going to want to play Halo 3 free-for-all if I'm, you know, I mean, come on. And this free-for-all will contain eight players on the map compared to Halo 5's six players. As we do know that Halo 5 originally started out with eight, then got downgraded to six due to the speed of players in the game. But originally it's always been in an eight-player game mode, so this should be a fun game mode to kind of jump in and get your shot ready to go before you kind of go into any ranked matches. Because free-for-all is the best way to warm up when you're trying to get into starting out your play session. So jump in, play some Rubble Pit, have some fun with that. Not only is Rubble Pit coming to MCC, we actually get an update to Slayer. It includes standard AR starts, Infinity variants, and higher weighted BR starts, which is great because we all know BR starts when it comes to classic Halo is kind of the way to go with that one. Uh, some zone control updates when it includes crazy king variants across all titles asset denial such as oddball rain in ce juggernaut in halo 3 and regicide in halo 4 which if you guys don't know regicide is actually a pretty fun game mode in halo 4 it was the one mode i actually really enjoyed back in that day when that when that game was uh the relevant thing at the time uh, action stack is also going to be a little bit of update it includes fiesta swords rockets shotguns slayer duels and rally in h2a race in halo 3 and ninja assassinations in halo 4 but not only is that just an update coming to MCC, but also skill-based matchmaking is being added into the MCC. So previously MCC was just kind of just like based on connection, whoever can just jump into a server at that time was just gonna get thrown into it. There was no skill-based matchmaking thrown into it, so you probably noticed that a lot of times you had to either backpack or you're the team being completely stomped on. Well, now they're gonna try to add in some little skill-based matchmaking. Now, this what this should do is not increase your search times. All it does, it just kind of does a check to see if there's anyone within your skill level available to play in your server. And then after that, it kind of goes back to its normal settings. Uh, generally, they do this because evenly ranked ma matched games tend to have lesser quit rates because we all know, at least from my experience in the MCC, quit rates are pretty high. And that's just because a lot of times when matches are lopsided, people will end up just leaving because it's obviously not a fair or fun match to play. Now how strict this MMR matching is going to be, it's not really stated in the community update, though it does state that it is going to be a thing, so we'll see what happens right there. That's one thing I've always enjoyed about the MCC, it's that it's always been rather casual, and so then it's been a fun game to kind of jump in and play. Now, if the matching is going to be really tight when it comes to that social skill-based matchmaking, we'll see what happens. I think that's kind of what ranked is for, but we'll see what happens with that one. And as we're still being teased for this refresh right here, but we got a little bit of news for the big team battle refresh, as in just a little bit of a screenshot right here, showing you a new map that's going to be potentially put into the playlist. So before we've only seen remakes of the current maps as in Valhalla and Sand Trap, but now we have this new map being thrown into here as well. Which, okay, so the map that has been screenshot out there, I found out talking to some Forge guys that the map is actually called Marauder, and here's a quick little preview of it. As you can see right here, it's a bit of an asymmetrical uh, BTB map right here. And I'm just gonna do a quick little pass through, you can see as uh, right, right here, is where you kinda tell this is where that screenshot was right there. 
and a little bit more view of what the map has to offer. Why a lot of different elevations? Looks a lot more infantry focused, but it looks like it has like decent pathing for vehicles, which is always important when it comes to these maps. I've always found that with the Forge maps in BTP, that uh, vehicle play, it's kind of constrained and uh, it's kind of hard to move around and kind of really freely move. But then a lot of elevation changes and top mid, bottom mid kind of areas and a lot of good cover and some you know good lines of sight. Uh, just a quick little overview guys, if you'd like me to go in more detail, I can definitely do that in another video for you guys to understand all the spawns and weapons and everything in between. But this is just a quick little preview, obviously things are subject to change, so keep that in mind when looking at this map, but you can get basically a general sense of what the map is going to have to offer. I'll definitely make a map showcase showing you guys all the new maps in the BTB refresh. And just for heads up guys, uh, during May 31st through June 2nd, we have DreamHack Dallas MCC Halo 3 4v4 tournament happening then. As you probably do know, South by Southwest was the last event, which I actually was there. It was super great, awesome time to be there. And actually, Reciprocity walked away with the win on that tournament. It was an invitational, so it was a little bit different of uh, players who were going to be playing. This one is an open, so anybody who can join in, qualify, can play in this tournament. And there actually is going to be a new team you definitely want to look out for when it comes to the DreamHack Dallas event. And that team is called Infinite. Yes, not like Halo Infinite, just N-Finite. <laughs> and so the team cons constitutes a Falcated, Boo Boo Doo Boo, Tusk, and Shotzi. Uh, if you guys do know that, but Boo Boo Doo Boo and Shotzi are both pretty good friends when it comes within the gaming community on the competitive side of things of Halo. Well, Shotzi has been kind of taking on time off uh, he's one of the best players in the game, and knowing that he's going to be hopping over to Halo 3, I've been seeing some of his streams as well. He's, oh, of course, trying to master the Halo 3 move, as that's what Shotzi does best. But this team is definitely going to be a big force to reckon with. I would even say possibly a top 4 finish from this team. And it's a young team, but I think they have the talent to possibly do it. So if you guys want to know just a quick review of after the event happens, make sure to stay tuned to the channel. You know we definitely will be covering that event on the channel, so make sure you subscribe and check in with the channel periodically to know when that event happens. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, a big team battle event is going to be happening. If you guys remember from South by Southwest, there was a big team battle bonanza that happened with a kind of a all-star pro-am celebrity group if you want to consider that of the halo community and it was a ton of fun to watch and uh you know a lot of our friends from the grassroots program were involved with that well they're going to be doing that again trying to set up a community play day to have all the grassroots guys able to come together and play some more big team battle possibly stream it they, you know it's really preliminary they just kind of announced that this is a thing right now uh, I really hope to see more of these kind of events. I think bringing the grassroots guys together kind of help represent us uh, content creators and the fellow people who like watch YouTube and Twitch and this whole community that we have in Halo kind of uh, play together and you know do something like this. It's, I think it's just fantastic. It really helps bringing the community together. And it's just like I'm really glad to say that they're doing another one of these events. Cannot wait for right another big team battle bonanza with the grassroots guys. There's also, do you remember Halo Outpost Discovery? That traveling show of everything that's going to be all awesomeness of Halo? Well, we do have an announcement of some celebrity appearances happening for all five events all around the country there. And that's Jen Taylor, who voices Cortana, and Steve Downs, the voice of Master Chief. They'll be at all five events over in our put the link in the description down below if you guys want to check out all the details of that kind of stuff. They'll be doing an hour-long fan meet and greet, which is going to be fantastic. You might each Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of each event. Uh, they'll be joining panels on Saturday for each event. And you don't need to have a VIP ticket to be able to meet these guys or see them in a panel. They'll just be around. It'd be pretty fantastic. So I'm really glad to see that they keep adding more and more awesomeness to Halo Outpost Discovery. Don't forget, they also announced that Halo MCC on PC is going to be a thing. So, you'd have to think that eventually, before the first date of July 5th through the 7th in Orlando for Halo Outpost, we probably will be getting some Halo MCC on PC action. And on to some Halo Infinite news, we have three new members added to the pro team. So, obviously, big news right here. These guys are going to help shape the gameplay of Halo Infinite. So, right here, 
We have Killer V. He was previously on the Halo 5 Pro team. It's now being able to bring his expertise over to Halo Infinite. It's going to be fantastic. We also have Baby J, who was previously a Halo Pro, but then also kind of moved over to Counter-Strike Global Offensive, which its main platform is keyboard and mouse. And so they mentioned that how this guy is going to be a member of the team who can help try to refine the keyboard and mouse uh, gameplay when it comes to bringing the MCC and Halo Infinite to PC. So I'm really glad to see that 343 adding on these competitive PC gamers help give you that true solid experience that we would all expect when it comes to playing Halo on PC. And a classic Halo Pro back in the Halo 3 days, Gregor is going to be joining the team as well, part of the Halo Infinite Pro team. So yeah, big news coming around in Halo's universe today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you like this kind of video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the topics we talked on this video. A lot of stuff we had to go over, so I hopefully I covered enough for you guys in enough detail so you guys can get enough information to walk away with this video about learning something, hopefully. And if you guys are new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell to stay up to date with anything happening on the channel. If you're new or missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.